to the paper, the grass is always green. I don't do no labels, I call it how I see it. Uh. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of No Label Podcast. Here live at the Locations event at the Legacy House here at my boy Nell. Yo, yo, shout out to our sponsor, shout out to Guapcoin, you know what I mean? Tap into the crypto. Man, we sitting down with one of Buffalo's best creatives, you know what I mean? What's up? He's a mastermind in his own right. You know what I'm saying? You You may see him with the Slime Shack, you may see him hosting a dope event near you. You know what I mean? We sitting here with Hood Cooley. It's good, yes, brother. Yes, sir. Jordan Hood Cooley at your service. Yes, sir. What's up, man? What we doing? Not much, man. We want to sit down and chop it up with you for a minute on the no, camera. that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. We definitely should sit down again. Yeah, we got to do a full, a full a joint. Full, a full conversation. Yeah. Cause but we, it's good to catch up with y'all real quick. You know what I'm hell saying? Hell yeah. Man. I was just telling one of the homies, like, it's hard not to feel good when you out amongst the community. Like, that's a so fact. this is the perfect place to get interviewed. Like, where, where? my vibes is up right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what's good. It's good this, to hear, man. This your first time here? Uh, no, nah, it's like my second or third time here. But yeah. it's crazy how that shit work, right? Yeah. You be seeing shit. You seeing shit. You flicking. <laughs> like, damn, where, where the fuck is that at? Next Hell thing you yeah. know, you in the motherfucker. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, cause like, Buffalo scene been going crazy for the longest. You've had a strong hand in like the local scene going up, and it's like to see a hub like this. What that shit mean, you? Cause like, yo, bro. Honestly, this like this like the shack on crack, bro. Bro, you feel me? Could, like y'all inspires this, mad shit. This what this, this what this what we dreamed about, bro. Yeah. Just like big ass space and being able to house the whole fucking city. You know what I'm That's saying. A fact. So like to see it and uh, to come to fruition. It's beautiful, bro. Hell it's beautiful. Yeah, bro. Like, I done met like twenty new people tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like everybody. everybody from Buffalo and surrounding areas, bro, like shit like this is gonna open the community up so much, bro. Yeah. And it's gonna do wonders for like us becoming a music city, an art city. That's a fact. We get in the yeah, we needed something like this for real. Word. Yeah. And it's like the the media and all the scenes is like it's networking, it's like creating Voltron in a sense. Because a lot of times people from Buffalo, they leave to go somewhere else so they could get the publicity. And it's not, the art not lacking. Yeah. It's just the amount of eyes that can get on you. Places like this allow everybody to come in one spot to create that, you know what I mean? To create that same buzz like a bigger city would. Feel me? And, like, I know from experience, like. Yeah, you've seen the evolution. This like, shit create opportunities, bro. Yeah, like, bro. I met, I met a homie. Uh, Audie. I met Audie Bazaar at locations, right? Yeah. And then, like, like he came to the shack, chill with us, like, became like a brother, like, really fuck with bro. And this nigga's a supermodel now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I met this nigga at locations, bro. Where? If that don't say what, like, what something like this do for people in Buffalo, what it can do for our community, like, I don't know what will. Yeah. That's dope. Man, how much... I know it's hard to kind of see when you're in it, but, like, how much do you feel, like, the Slime Shack impacted, like, the Buffalo scene and, like, what's going on today? Yo, bro, at the crib, uh, we call it the Slime Shack Big Brother program, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Like, and not even on no... It ain't even, no, like, a trying no to sell you shit. shit. Yeah, you not even me? trying to like, sell you, like, you family. It, it, like, we really just, like, done opened up the doors, bro. And we done became family with so many different people from so many different walks of life that, like, we got so many little brothers, you know what I'm saying, out in the world doing amazing shit now. Motherfuckers that used to be sleeping on my couch out here fucking moving the culture, bro. Like, That's a fact. Like, niggas talk about riding the wave, but, like, I'm watching my make, my people make, make their Word. wave, bro. Like, that shit really fire. And, like... To, just to know that like niggas had a hand in that bro like yeah, that shit feel good in itself yeah and then like to see the inspiration know what I'm saying like and to get those flowers back in real time that, that shit feel good bro like yeah bro like shout out all my little brothers Space Bomb fucking Freak the Mighty you know yes, what I'm sir. saying like like all the homies that I don't watch like come up 
and step up like and no then low. take the fuck over, bro. <laughs> no low going like, crazy. No low. <laughs> I mean, like, the list is really long as hell, bro. Like, and then motherfuckers that I've been shoulder to shoulder with, like, niggas I played basketball with, like, the nigga True used to come get me from my grandmother's house to listen to music, smoke a blunt or two, you know what I'm saying? Like, sleep on this nigga couch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, go to, e- go to ECC and shit, all of that, to hear, you know what I'm saying? To hear now, you feel me? Like, this nigga mural name, big as hell on the wall and shit, like, the come up is so crazy, bro. It's different, like, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I know this shit gonna be a movie. Yeah, you know? it gotta Real be. talk. It gotta be. Real talk, bro. We was talking to Nick. Shout out to the Buffalo kids, man. Hell yeah, the low kids, the real ones. Yo, I was talking, we was talking to Nick earlier, and he was talking about like a lot of the time people behind the scenes don't get to shine all like that. And it's like, I know you be in the ear of like a lot of the people, like Buffalo's like best grips. He be in their ear like, yo, yo, tweak it like this, do it like that. And then that shit go crazy, and it's like, Motherfuckers don't get awards for that shit, but that shit, it, it counts. Like, Hell that shit yeah, is real bro. shit. Niggas don't get awards for that shit, bro, but that shit helped me find my way, bro. I remember uh, getting interviewed at the shack, like, maybe, like, five, six years ago, and a motherfucker, like, went down the line and asked everybody what they do, and, like, all these niggas rap, you feel me? So they, like, rap, nigga, but, like, nigga, I really, at that point, I really ain't know, bro. Like, I ain't know what I do, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like... So being able to touch uh, touch different people's art, touch people's music, influence different artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit helped me find my way to uh, being able to say with my chest, I'm a creative director, I'm a visual director, you yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Like, I, I executive produce, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fucking uh, motivate artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, I help to put the battery in their back, bro, so that they could... Uh, create something with texture that means something and touch people. Give that context with the creativity. And without doing any of that, I wouldn't be here, bro. So, like, I don't really need no awards, bro. Like, I'm my own fucking award. We 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 want to put the camera in front of you to give you your flowers. Word. Appreciate you, bro. That's what that, that's what this shit is about, man, because we definitely going to sit down and talk again for long form and really dive in, like, so we can tell the story. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, the stories, the funny times, the history, nigga. Hell like, yeah. yeah. It's a errors. lot, bro. It's and a lot errors. to go through. Hell for yeah. Sure. For sure, for sure. We gonna document that shit, for but sure. This sh- it's like, just the combination of everything to right now, bro, like, really going from underground basements, niggas' living rooms, uh, recording in, in bathrooms, living rooms, the middle of rooms, uh, hotel rooms, wherever, Garages, bro. Like, really yeah. going from that to, like, being in the middle of a renaissance in Buffalo, like yes, reading sir. about the Harlem Renaissance, bro, and then being in the Buffalo Renaissance, that shit is crazy, bro. Different. Yeah, like, nice. I feel like I'm walking through a history book real That's time. This That's shit really fire as fuck. That's and normally they say like when you're in it, you can't really notice what's going on. So like while you're in this Buffalo Renaissance, how are you able to really appreciate what's going on? Bro, I'm able to appreciate what's going on because I'm the nigga behind the camera, bro. I stand back and I appreciate it. That's my job to like stand back and make sure everybody having a good time. You feel me? Like see how people interacting with certain things, see how people interacting with each other. And that shit, like you grow an appreciation from just seeing that, like seeing the love grow. You know growth, what I mean? Yeah, that growth. In a city where motherfuckers is standoffish, bro. Like That's a fact. nobody <laughs> fuck with nobody. That's a fact. We all stay in our own neighborhoods. Like if this was 15 years ago, bro, everybody would be on wall with their gang. You feel me? Like, stone face. Like, stone face. <laughs> like, shit. Two like, years ago, damn it. It was two me? years ago. Like, it's still hard right now to get niggas out their show, but, like, shit like this, bro, is, is, is proof. It's proof that we can. Yeah. We will. We are. That's a fact, man. Facts. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. We gonna leave it at that, cause that shit Word. that was hard. <laughs> that Word, was hard to say. Shit, man, appreciate you sitting Yo, down with us, though. Thank you for having me, bro. We will, I'm we, gonna spin back. We will sit yes, down sir. again. I'm about to go roll up, nigga. Yes, sir. Let's get it. No label the pot. We out. Peace.